the time to act was several years ago. We did not. But I am also among the people who think that uh, it's uh, still we have time to act, right? Uh, but then it's now the time to act. We work in science and we believe in science and science tells that uh, there are a lot of things happening, a lot of changes happening. Um, and uh, if we do not abate uh, the, the causes, the, the, the impacts uh, we see happening in coming force are going to be coming years are going to be very, very serious. Uh, we know the root cause. So I think uh, handling the root cause is the major point. So there is no option than to you know, reduce our uh, emission. I think that is first and foremost. There is no other option. But then we also know that the effect of that will take time uh, and you know, uh, certain impacts on ecosystem uh, and livelihood will continue to happen. But we now also know that adaptation has limits. There are things which will happen beyond adaptation and therefore countries like uh, the least developed countries, Nepal and others are lobbying for loss and damage. So that's something which we really need to do. Um, so these are some of uh, the concrete things which the world knows, everybody knows, but the only uh, problem is action is limited.